Hello, everyone. Welcome back to Airport CEO. Now, I, I'm, I'm going to admit, <laughs> I had done this episode before. Like, I, I did it, I recorded it, um, and then at the end of it, I don't know, like the last five, ten minutes of it, I was just having a lot of issues and a lot of problems, and I said, you know what, we're just going to skip that one for now, we'll just redo it. So that's what we're doing today. <laughs> so anyway... That also explains, you know, why I didn't have an episode come out yesterday, so I apologize about that. But, you know, when you get to when you get to a point, you look at a video and you go, yeah, that's not going to be very good. I'm, I don't like it, so I'm just redoing it. So anyway, today what we're going to do is we're going to get our first flights in here. Yes, that's going to be exciting. Uh, so we have, currently I opened, uh, opened those two up. Um, I do want to go in. There's a couple things that we need to do first, though. So... In operations, we need to um, have fueling services turned on. Uh, the other thing that we need to do is the last thing that's in here is to refuel five GA flights. So we can go ahead and skip that because, you know, that's going to be really easy to take care of. Uh, so we can go on to International Airport. Now, a lot of this stuff we've already done by the terminal, by the uh, terminal passenger flow. Um, office and decoration part for the staff room. I'm not going to really worry about that too much right now. Um, I, I have an idea of where I want it to go. I was thinking about putting it up here, but I kind of, I, I tried that before. It didn't really work out too well. So it's going to go like down here, but I'm not going to do that just yet. So we're going to skip the staff room for now. Uh, we are going to hire our staff though. So we need to hire four ramp agents, uh, wait for them to arrive and then enable services for that. So let's go down to staff and vehicles. We need to get, let's see, ramp agents, view applicants, and we need four of them. So let's go one, two, uh, three, four. We'll just hire them. And then we need to, operations, we need to enable ramp agent services. So then once we get the staff that arrives, we'll be good. And then we're actually ready to go ahead and schedule our first flight. Yes, that is what this game is all about. Scheduling flights and getting uh, getting these passengers in here and taking those flights. I don't know what I'm trying to say right now. I really don't. <laughs> all right. Anyway, let's just yeah, let's just go into here. Um, bit, 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 economy contracts. So we have several contracts that we can choose from, right? So with this, let's just go with Stripe Air. Now, it used to be you would choose a contract based upon the type of uh, the gate that you had and how many were in there and everything else. Well, now it just gives you, you know, the airlines. And then in the contract itself, you know, Stipe Airline uh, aims to be one of the best small carriers, um, blah, blah, blah. All of this information that's in here. The following contract will allow Stipe Air to offer flights to and from your airport. The relationship between the airport and the airline is dependent on your successful execution and contracted flights and therefore future contract proposals. So we'll go ahead and sign this one. And then we'll just click on F to get to our flights. And right away we already have flights available. Now what we want to look at with this is we want to look at is it a daily flight or is it just a one-time occurrence, right? So we're going to see that there in frequency. Um, I can't really mouse over to it but uh it's kind of toward the bottom a little bit like in the middle bottom like you see there's 14 people there and you, then you can see frequency of daily um so this is actually going to be a daily flight so we're going to drag this out to let's see we can put one in there and then i'd like to have this here but i can always eh, i can reschedule it if i need to let's just go ahead and put it there for now yeah that'll be fine That'll work for me. So then what we're going to need to do is we're basically just going to need to wait for our passengers to uh, to get here, right? So the passengers should be arriving soon. Now, the issue that I was having um, was I couldn't get, for some odd reason, couldn't get the, uh, the airport staff to come out here to these areas um, to take care of this. So I think, I think the problem was that um, I, it might be because I have a gap here. Um, I also had my staff room all the way up here, so it was really, really far for them to travel. 
Uh, so I think we're gonna we're gonna change that around just a little bit um, here in a minute. I do want to double check and make sure that we have small airfield is almost done. Uh, regional airport, so we've got that, we've got that. So complete the scheduled flight and complete another five flights. So we have five flights that we need to complete in order to get. Actually, that's it for regional airport. So yeah, that's going to go really, really fast. That's good. That's good. Um, so let's see. Our passengers have arrived and they are already coming in here, which is awesome. That's amazing. That's that's a much better. Um, <laughs> it's a it's, it's a much better start to this episode than the last <laughs> episode that I did. <laughs> and I also yeah, I mean, I went through and I did a lot of this um this stuff first before I did that. So that's, I mean, that's part of it too. Um, but anyway, so now that I know that that's going to work, these guys are just going to hang out here. I'm thinking what I should do to make things easier for them to make it easier for them. I think I'll put like a small break room, like back here so that when they're ready, they can just come out and they don't have to worry about going in and out of security. That could have been the problem that I had. But I want to move, I want to move those. So if I, let's see, infrastructure, public road, asphalt. Um, let's take, let's go down to, let's see, 10, I think. Because that'll be like one, two, three, four. Yeah, that'll be eight. Leave two in between, and then those can go down there. That won't be an issue. And then if I build, if I build my foundation, because I want to build my foundation like right here and have a three by three room, because I don't want it to connect up to, well, I mean, I could have it connect up to the hallway. I could just do that and then not, and just have a double wall right there. We can do that. Yeah. Yeah, we can do that. So then I can do a small door. Um, yeah. Yeah, I'll do a small door there. So then this will be a staff only room. So that'll be good for the, uh, you know, for a lot of these guys, honestly. <laughs> It'll be good for a lot of them. Um, I am really glad to see that we're making a pretty decent amount of money right now. Um, oh, we have, do we have an issue over here? Is there an issue? Do I have something happening with this? Oh. Let's see, boarding opens at 1416, okay. So that's fine. I don't have anyone, st wait, okay. <laughs> I can't, oh, I can't tell time today. I, I just can't do it. Okay, so we have, okay, so it's open at 1416. Here come the guys. Okay, okay, good. <laughs> I was thinking something was going to happen, but it didn't. It's fine. I do need to put a door there, though. It looks a little odd without a door. So let's put a large door there. There. One there and one there. I don't know why I didn't do that before. It's a bit odd, but okay. All right. I there's there's definitely a heck of a lot of traffic coming in here. This is uh, this is interesting. Um, I'm not entirely sure why they're turning around right there. That doesn't make any sense. I don't know. I don't understand that. I'm wondering if if I get rid of that road, will that allow them to? I don't know. I don't know. It's kind of sketchy. It's kind of sketchy. <laughs> let's uh, let's do this first. Let's do staff zone only, and then a staff room. Okay. And then with a staff room, let's put uh, let's put a couple medium sofas in here. Zoom in a little bit. So we've got some sofas. I've got, let's see, plants I can put in here. A couple of plants. Uh, let's see, an office desk. Where's the chair on that thing? 
There it is. So I can put, say, like an office desk here in the corner and another one there. Yeah. Yeah, I like that. Oh, and maybe uh, maybe a couple tables. Let's put uh, put some tables there and then there. Yeah, that'll look really nice. And that'll make it really easy for the uh, the ticketing agents to, you know, just go right here to where they need to go. No issue there. I'm surprised there's not a queue that you can build for this. For the stand. For the, uh, the desk there. I don't understand that. But, you know, that's okay. That's fine. Um, I do want to put... I need to have an information desk in here. So, an info desk. Uh, let's go ahead and put one... See, is that facing the correct way? Yes, it is. So let's put an information desk there. An information desk there. Okay, so that's two desks. That'll be plenty. I don't really think we need a third one. And I'm just now realizing, too, that this center doesn't match that center. And that's annoying. Dang it. Man. Why did I have to notice that? <laughs> Hat. <laughs> ah, crap. You know what? That's that's annoying. <laughs> I don't like that at all. It's okay. I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna ignore it for now. I will ignore it for now. I I can't let that drive me nuts, even though it will. All right. So I think uh, I think this is good. We have uh, ramp agents in here. We've got uh, airport staff. We have everybody you know in there. So I think we're okay. Um, I need to schedule some more flights. So this one is going to only be once. So can I get it in? Sneak it in at the end of the day? I cannot. So I need to go Saturday. So I can do this one first thing Saturday morning. I can do... This one is just once. So we'll do that one right after. Uh, this one is daily. So let's put that one there. And this one is only once as well. So I'll put that one there. Perfect. Now what I'm trying to do is I want to make sure I keep like the daily ones on the same gate. And then I do the, uh, the single ones on a different gate. And then I also want to make sure that I keep like these gates to... Um, I want to keep the gates to the same airline, you know? I don't want to. I don't want to have to change it up constantly. It's it's kind of annoying, you know. I mean, when you think about when, when you think about when you go to an airport, right? This gate is always going to be, say, like American Airlines. This one's always going to be Delta. This one's always going to be Southwest. That's just the way it works in the real world. So that's kind of how I want it to be here in Airport CEO. I want it to be as close to the real world as we possibly can get it. Now we have two open. We're not going to mess with these two yet because I want to make sure that um, those flights that we have coming in, that we can, number one, we can handle it. And number two, um, I want to get some seating and stuff like that in here first as well. So with that said, let's go to gate seating. Let's do a side by side. And then I think what I want to do is, see, I've got, I can put one there. And I can put one there. That's actually perfect. Actually, I am going to do the seating this way. Yeah, I like that. I did the seating this way before. Like going, you know, up and down like that. But, I don't know. I didn't really... It didn't work too well for me. So we'll do one, two, three. One... Two, three. It's actually more than four apart. It's kind of annoying, but whatever. One, two, three. One, two, three. And then one. Ooh. Ew. Um. Yeah, I'm not going to do anything with that. I'm not going to do anything with that one. I'm going to leave it alone. That's going to be, honestly, that's going to be plenty of seating. Because this place, I mean, these aren't, these planes aren't very big. <laughs> they're not going to be, they're not going to fit a whole lot of people. 
So I think we'll be fine. I'm pretty sure we will be fine. All right, staff room there. See, what I was trying to do, like, with the center area was I was trying to have the staff go through a different area and then go into a staff room and then be able to exit out. Um, but that didn't really work out too well uh, for these guys because all of the airport staff were trying to go into the staff room and then they weren't coming back over here to ticketing and it was just causing, like, a huge, huge mess. Hated it. Absolutely hated it. All right. I'm so excited. We have our flights in here now. Yes. It's great. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. Um, and we have new flights popping up all the time, too. So that's something that we kind of need to watch out for. Uh, so it looks like there's a total of 30 flights available. Um, and we have 12 active flights currently. Between, you know, the, uh, the dailies and then the, the one-timers here. So, and it looks like the dailies go just a few days out. So you can see this little number up here shows uh, if flight is reoccurring or just one time if flight is reoccurring. It will indicate the number of flights in the series. So that's good to know. So this one has five, that one has four. So obviously after a certain amount of days, it'll go away. All right, let's go back over here. Decorate your airport by placing floors. Oh, yeah, we could definitely do that. Oh, you know what we need? We need a bathroom. We need a bathroom. <laughs> you know, passengers got to go pee. Everyone has to go pee. Every once in a while, it happens. Um, what did that say? Decorate by placing floors. God, my brain is fried. I'm telling you. <laughs> it's absolutely ridiculous. But the show must go on. Um, so in the front here, let's go with this. I like that. Ooh, that's very bright. <laughs> very, very bright. Uh, we'll go with square hardwood in here. I like that. Uh, down the hallway. Let's see, down the hallway, I think we'll go ahead and go with blue. Yeah, I like that. Oh, let's see, and then blue down this hallway. Not entirely sure what we're going to do in here, though. I don't know. They don't really give you a whole lot of options. I mean, you really don't have that many. Unfortunately, uh, let's go with fancy wood. I think fancy wood will do the trick. Maybe. I don't know. That looks kind of gross. Actually, let's look at it this way. There we go. Well, I mean, it's not too bad. It's not too terribly bad. I'll leave it like that for now. Um, and then out here in the exit, let's do something like this. This mosaic. That actually looks pretty nice. Ooh, maybe I should do the mosaic in here. Eh, maybe later. I don't know, tell me what you think about the flooring. I mean, it's a little off, it's a little different, but I don't know, I kinda like it. So, I think we're gonna, we're gonna leave it there. Um, now, let's get some, uh, let's get some bathrooms in here, shall we? <clears throat> so we've got that. Now, how uh, how big do I want this to be? Um, it's actually let's <laughs> let's do this. Let's actually put the bathroom fixtures in here first, and then we will build it from there. <laughs> we'll build it around. Um, must be placed inside bathroom. Well, you stink. Uh, bathroom zone. Let's just make it that big for now. Let's see items, toilet. Uh, one, two, three, four. I think if I do four, and then one, two, three, four. So there's the men's room. Well, part of the men's room. So we'll have toilets there. I'll have urinals on this side. 
And where's my wall? Structures, wall. And then the sinks. Go back to items, sinks. The sinks could go there if they if I wanted to put them there. But I want to leave a little bit of room. So four, five, six. That'll be fine. So then we'll take the wall and we'll go to there and then that to there uh, and then door. We'll go there. Perfect. I could probably. Hmm. You know, I could probably do like a couple more toilets in there, but I don't know. I think I'll leave it here for now. Yeah, yeah, we'll, we'll just leave it there for now. It's fine. Um, this was how many across? $120 worth. And that was all the way. If I go there to there, it's 110. So that's 110. And then down from here. Okay. Yeah, that looks like it's the that looks like it's the same size. I think that'll work for me. Now. Why don't we do Let's do this. Let's go with structures, toilets. Nope. Items, toilets. Oh, where are the toilets? There we go. Uh so Son of a... Okay. <laughs> Bathroom first. Then I can put my toilets down. Oh my god. Didn't I just do that? Four, five, six. And then I can have these. One, two, three, four, five, six. I think that'll work. That should work a lot better. And then I'll put a wall there. The door. Uh, where's my door? The small door can go there and then six sinks there and don't I have hand dryers in here yeah I do so I'll put um, yeah I didn't think that that was gonna work so I'll put a hand dryer there and another one there and then with this I'll put a couple hand dryers there and I think I should be able to fit one, yep, right there. Perfect. And there you go. Um, now, this needs to be, that needs to be a female restroom. Open that up. Yay! How awesome is that? And look, we have flights coming in. We have flights going out. We have passengers sitting and waiting very, very patiently. Very nice, very nice. Yeah, this is actually a perfect, perfect break room for them to be in. That way they can be up front and center right here. Um, I do want to go ahead and let me hire some more. Let's see. Let's view staff for airport staff. I have one, two, three, four, five. I ha only have six. Should probably hire a couple more. Let's hire four. Four should be good. This uh, <laughs> this area is going to get really busy once we start getting a lot of flights in here. I don't know how um, how workable this is going to be. I, I have a feeling that we're going to have a lot of traffic down here. Um, <laughs> it'll be interesting. It'll be very, very interesting. Um, You know, I want to say, oh, oh, right, right, right. So 
There's other stuff that I know that I can do and that I can build, but I have to unlock it first. Which kind of stinks. But I think that goes more for the international airport. Um, which, I mean, we'll get to, but I want to, I kind of want to make sure we have this down pat first before we go any further with it you know what i mean uh, i just want to make sure that we are good to go i mean so far so good we do appear to be um you know getting the flights in and out of here at a decent amount of time uh we have let's see what was that nine people coming in 13 going out which is fine with me um aircraft inspection is done uh jet fuel we are good I don't think that needs to be refueled. Um, when do these people get on here? 14, 17? And then do I have people coming down here? I do not. I have a guy coming now. So that's a little bit of a delay. So these guys are spread a little bit thin. Just a little bit thin, but... But I think we, we might be alright. Um, I think what I might want to do is give these guys a little bit of a shortcut to get through security. Because these guys are having to go through this way. And then he's going down here to this plane. Probably to inspect it. Okay. Okay, so that's taken way too long. We need to fix that. We need to fix that, and we're going to fix that now. So I think what I'll do, instead of having airport staff go through the main security area, I'll have them go through a little security area over here. So let's stick with... Let's stick with the foundation going here. And with this I can probably fit I can probably fit two if I do the small security checkpoints. Let's see, one. No, I can really only fit one. Cause there's one, two, three. What's it that well maybe. Maybe. We'll find out. Uh, foundation. Uh, give me two. Let's go to there. And then honestly, once they get through security... So I'll have two of them like right here, and then it really only needs to be the one hallway. Like that. Okay. So then let's... Let's see, a wall needs to go there. Can bulldoze just that, that, and that. Actually, no. No, I'm just going to put a door in here. Um, I think I'm just going to do a small door right in the center. Okay. And then I'll make, let's see, I want to make area secure. Secure, secure, and then let's go with small security checkpoint. Oh, that actually fits in perfectly. Ha ha! Two small security checkpoints. Very nice. Yes! I'm glad that worked out well. <laughs> I am. I'm really glad that, that worked out well. All right, and then I still have to make, so area secure there. So then once I get this built in here, I am gonna need two, uh, let's see, I need two uh, security guys. Uh, view staff, view applicants, thank you very much. Uh, let's go with her and this guy. Can't pronounce his name, but we'll go with that guy. <laughs> okay, so that's fine. Get that built up. 
Uh, how am I doing on my flights here real fast before I do anything else? Those are all green and good to go. Yes. Um, and so we only have those couple scheduled there. And I have more that need to be done. Okay, good. Uh, so this is going to be a daily flight. Right? Yeah, daily. So that can go there. Um, this one is a one-time flight. There you go. Uh, daily flight. You're going to go up here. Thank you. And then another daily flight. That'll fill up all my daily flight spots. But let's see. That's only... That's two. Uh, that's four, five, two, and four. So I imagine we can see a lot of this falling off here by... Yeah, it all falls off by Thursday. So that's no big deal. We'll have... We'll obviously have more flights coming in by then. Um, we're making some pretty good money. $2,700, $2,800 this hour. Pretty good, pretty good. Um, we'll get into the money aspect of things here in a little while. Uh, here's what I want to do. This cannot accept passengers. This cannot accept passengers. It's employees only. I'm going to take my queue here. Speaking of queue, so build queue. Someone did mention in the comments in uh, the last episode that it's not queue line. It's either a queue or it's a line. One of the two. It's either or, not both. So thank you for pointing that out. Um, I will do better at uh, trying to ensure that I am um, pronouncing that correctly and not saying Q line. I'm just saying either Q or line. It's just, I don't know, it's a bad habit. <laughs> I guess. I guess it's just a bad habit. Um, what happened? Build Q. There we go. Okay. I think that'll work out pretty well. Let's see, can I do... Can I do a staff zone? Will that help too, or is that going to be too much? It might be too much. Let's see. Let's take employees off of that one and that one and that one. Let's see if that does anything. Like I said, I think with by having this here, I think that that's going to help out a lot better. Um, I guess we're just going to have to wait until uh, until we get, um, you know, our, our flights in here. We're just going to have to wait on that. <sighs> uh, <laughs> I had a feeling I put that in there wrong. I don't know why. I just had a feeling. Oopsie. My bad. Let's let's get the door put in there correctly, shall we? Uh, door. Door. I don't know why I thought I had done that incorrectly. Probably because I didn't even check it. So that's probably why. That's probably what it was. Um, this needs to change. I forgot about that. So let's get, what is that, a loading zone? Contractor offload site and a loading zone. Uh, let's see, infrastructure loading site. I'm going to go ahead and put the, actually we're going to go this way with it. Loading site and offsite construction zone. Controller offload. Okay. Now, before, I've made this mistake before. Um, oh, okay. Neither one of those need to actually be built. Um, I put one down and it had to be built and then I couldn't build it because I didn't have the zone for delivery. <laughs> it was awful. It was. It was horrible. Oh my gosh. It was just, oh my god, it was bad. It was really bad. But okay. You know what? I think we're good for today. I do. I think we're good. We got, uh, you know, we got some decoration done. We got some bathrooms in here. Speaking of decorations, let's go ahead and go up to flooring and let's do some tile in the bathrooms. Um, and then not only that, but we got our first flights in here. Yes. First flights. Yay. Flights. Um, <laughs> yeah, I know. I'm a little ridiculous, but you know, that's just the way I am. Um, so next episode, definitely going to get uh, plans to get the other two gates open, uh, getting some more flights scheduled in here, 
And then looking at the rest of this, I think, yeah, we are ready to move on to International Airport, which, whoo, buddy, that's going to be fun. That's going to be really, really fun. But before we even do that, we are going to stick with being in Terminal 1 and doing these gates over here. Um, I really do feel like we're going to need to have... Um, no, I need to repair it. <laughs> um, I really do feel like we're going to need to unlock one of these areas here eventually, very, very in the near soon future. Um, just so I can get that upgraded and get a longer airport, or an airport, longer airport. Oh my gosh, listen to you, Ryan. Tripping over your words today. <laughs> oh boy. Um... Anyway, a longer runway. That's what I'm trying to say, for crying out loud. <laughs> anyway, you know what? I think we're good. I think we're done. So that is all I have for you guys today. You guys know what to do. Questions, comments, concerns, put it down in the comment section below. If you're watching this episode and you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and do so. You can see that there's plenty of videos, plenty of content on the channel. And go ahead and subscribe and watch the other videos today. And reminder to everyone, the 24th of April, just throw this in here real quick, 24th of April, we are going to be doing, I am going to be doing a live feed in the morning. Um, I should be getting my key for Foundation, the game. Uh, it is a medieval, like, 18th, no, God, 15th, 16th century, you know, building game. Um... That has to do with uh, you know creating castles and kingdoms and and all that fun stuff. So that'll be that'll be really really interesting and really fun. I'm supposed to get the key at like 10 a.m. Eastern time, uh, and as soon as I get it, I will be going live and having a lot of fun with that. It's going to end up being a really really long live stream, uh, so stay tuned for that. Uh, and that is all I have for you guys. Thank you so much everyone for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye.